Hey there, I am Anup and in this video we are going to learn how to update stock or inventory in WooCommerce store for simple products. So updating the inventory in WooCommerce depends on product to product like types of product. One is the simple product and second is the variable products. If you don't know about what are the simple products, you can watch simply this video and get knowledge about it. So let's move on the topic and let's get started. So I'm back on my product list. Then we have to click on edit. After complete loading, you will get a screen like this. You have to scroll down and you have to click on inventory. In inventory, you have to write a SKU. SKU is your stock keeping unit or you can say a unique identifier. So let's say I'm writing sunglass 001 this also help us to match in our uh, stocks or physical stocks where we have placed that particular item and you want to manage stock or not means on this product level if i am clicking on the manage stock and I, if i am saying i have 50 quantity of this particular product and there is an option of allow back orders allow back orders means if any customer is giving you order from your website it automatically re get reduced and at it at one time it will be zero so in the website it will show you out of stock so you want to allow if you click on allow user still can pay like still can pay for that and place order if you'll say allow but notify customer means customer still can place order but they will be get notified like product has been out of stock and it will be delivered to you as soon as possible but if you're clicking on don't allow user can't place order if stock has become zero so let's see in action so let's update the 50 and low threshold value is when you are going to get the notification so WooCommerce has a feature where you get notif notified automatically once the threshold value will go to 2 means when 48 customer has placed order and the quantity will be 2 then you will automatically get an email from the your store like the quantity of this has been done so you you can come and you can update or you can increase it like you want low threshold value will be 10 then you can place 10 there is an option of sold individually you if you click on this one customer can purchase one item in a single order unit of mass unit of mass is something else it's not the default feature of woocommerce so we can leave it so here we are not going to touch this then we can simply update this so we updated and we'll go on the website we'll refresh this so it's showing you 15 stock so it's also depend on the theme to theme like user or you can say developer has shown the inventory or not sometimes some uh, store owners don't want to show the inventory so in that case they can contact your developer and get removed this now uh, let's suppose in inventory we are placing zero inventory like we don't have stock so what will happen we'll go on the website we'll refresh and we are getting out of stock option if you have selected do not allow if you are selecting on allow then we will update this and we will refresh this so user can place the order if we are selecting allow but notify then you, if we update with this option and we will refresh this so available on back order means if you order then it may be available so this is the option let's place a order and we'll see what will happen to the inventory so let's keep it on 50 and place a order so i'm adding into the basket i'm going in the view basket and let me remove other products let's do checkout let's do on the cash on delivery and then let's place an order the order has been done and let's refresh the page and let's go into inventory so you can see the stock automatically has been reduced so if you, your user is placing your order the WooCommerce is smart enough to decrease the inventory automatically and once the, the inventory will go up to 10 or whatever number you have updated over here it will send you a, an email 
like your inventory is going low than the threshold value and you must need to purchase from your vendor or you need to update in case you have it. I hope uh, you have clear completely what will happen when someone purchases the order with the inventory and how to manage inventory with a simple product. See you in the next video.